Welcome to Excel Fort. My name is Fami. This is another video from the series How to be super productive in Excel and Power Query. In our third and last example, we have got some sales data. We have data for each branch, target sales and actual sales. Target from January to September, but actuals only up to June. What we are trying to do here is we are trying to compare the target versus actual sales by branch and month. Also, we need to convert these months into proper dates as well. And we don't want to have months that don't have actual sales. So once we have done the transformation, we are trying to get an output similar to this branch month target actual and the comparison target versus actual before we load this data into power query let's create a table by pressing ctrl t let's keep the column headers as suggested because we don't have multiple column headers here now that we have the table let's go to the data and click on table range we have loaded the data into power query let's zoom in by control shift plus first transformation we are going to do here is to fill down the branch names as we don't see branch name repeated for each row so right click fill and fill down now we are going to do the unpivoting of the columns from Jan to September. We can select branch, press control and select the actual target columns. And uh, we are going to right click on this, select unpivot other columns this time. So what this basically does is this is going to take the columns that we have selected and unpivot all other columns. In our case it's from January to September. The next task is to put target and actual in two different columns. So to do that, we are going to select actual target, go to transform tab, you will find pivot columns. This is the opposite of unpivot. So the pivot column function is going to ask you for a column to do the aggregation so we'll choose the value column under option you can see it is by default taking the sum it's going to summarize it's a total so let's click this is fine let's click ok so we have our branch month target and actual good next step is to convert these month names into proper dates instead of having April we are going to have 30 April 2020. Since we know the year, we are going to add year at the end as a suffix. So how do we do that? We select the column, go to transform tab and click on format, choose suffix. Dash 2020. Now we can change the format to date here. So it automatically converts into a date. But what we need is the end of the month. So what we are going to do, we are going to right click on this. Transform month, choose end of month. Which will get the last day of each month. Okay. The next thing is to get rid of the months that we don't have sales for. In actual column, you can filter out the lines with nulls. So we'll have data only from January to June in our case. Fine. Next, we are going to calculate the difference between target and actual. So I have selected actual target 
and we are going to go to add column it will be a new column so under standard we will choose subtract so which has created a column with the difference between target and actual so this is what we wanted let's go and do the final steps here this needs to be renamed to month target is fine actual and let's rename this to actual versus target let's check on the data format here for each column this is text month all our whole numbers great let's go and load this to a new worksheet now close and load so we have the data here transform as we expected branch month target actual and actual versus target as you can see we don't have any numbers with null over here so with this data now you are able to do your analysis on the variance between sales and target by different dimensions like branch month quarter and so on if you want to watch the other two parts of this video please click on these video links i hope this was helpful to you if you have any questions or suggestions please leave a comment below subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon if you want to receive notification for my future videos thanks again for watching and have a nice day